Targaryen, the first of her name. Queen of the Andals and Rhoynar and the First Men. Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and protector of the realm. Your Grace. Wine, my queen. Thank you, Reyna. What is our standing? We have 30 knights, 100 crossbow men, and 300 men at arms. Dragonstone is relatively easy to defend, but as an instrument of conquest, our army leaves a lot to be desired. We have sent word to my loyal men in the city watch. I'll have some support there, but I cannot speak to the numbers. We already have declarations from Keltigar and Staunton, Massey, Darkland, and Barimon. My lady mother was an Aaron. The Vale will not turn cloak against their own kin. River Run was always a close friend to your father, Your Grace. With Prince Damon's acquiescence, I have already sent ravens to Lord Grover. Lord Grover is fickle and easily swayed. He will need to be convinced of the strength of our position. And that we will support him should it come to war. I'm going to treat with him myself. What of Storm's End and Winterfell? There has never lived a Stark who forgot an oath, and with how Stark... The North will follow. Lord Boros Baratheon will need to be reminded of his father's promises. What news from Driftmark? Lord Cooler sails for Dragonstone. To declare for his queen. The Valarian fleet is in my husband's yoke. He decides where they sail. We shall pray for both you and your husband's support, just as we prayed nightly for the sea snake's return to good health. There's no port on the narrow sea would dare to make an enemy of the Valarian fleet. And our enemies? We have no friends among the Lannisters. Tyland has served the hand too long to turn against him, and Otto Hightower needs the Lannister fleet. Without the Lannisters, we're not likely to find any allies west of the Golden Tooth. No. The Riverlands are essential, Your Grace. Pray forgive my bluntness, Your Grace, but talk of men is moot. Your cause owns a power that has not been seen in this world since the days of old Valyria. 